Hello, my name is David Black and I teach here at Walden School of Liberal Arts in Provo, Utah. Let me tell you about the STEM Arts Alliance, my program to infuse art and history into science, technology, engineering, and math classes. Students implement projects that integrate digital art with authentic science and engineering data. They become scientists, engineers, and designers by doing real science and engineering projects. Walden School is a K-12 public charter school with 240 students in our 6th through 12th grades. We believe in experiential, project-based learning and student choice. We're small enough that it's easy to collaborate with other teachers and realize multidisciplinary activities. Students do best in an environment that is safe, fun, and engaging, and where they do meaningful work. Bare walls don't teach anything. So I hang up posters showing science and engineering concepts with exhibits of student work. If you were to visit my classes, you'd see students working in teams on projects that require research, data analysis, and design aesthetics. Here are some examples. Classes should be a lot stronger than that. Well, it depends on what you're testing them again. Six pixels. Yes, make it the same as your other one. All right, now I'll do Command-D and turn it off. He's making a different design. We're trying to think of two different oh, okay. ways that we can do it. And then we'll decide if we like it. And maybe incorporate parts of both designs. Instructions. We know what they're doing. It's basically, say we have a, B, 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 and the maximum. Yeah. Here's my name for graphics. I'm expected. I am an interactive teacher, digging in with students on projects and demonstrating my own. I teach by doing and through guided practice. For skills related subjects, such as 3D modeling, I show how to use the tools to build specific skills, including vertex modeling or hierarchical linking. Then let the students work on summative projects of their own which demonstrate these skills. They also work on large scale group projects. The STEM Arts Alliance isn't meant to replace any state-required curriculum, but to be more creative in how we implement it. We choose projects that meet state and national standards, use real data, involve the engineering process with digital art technologies, and teach 21st century and common core skills. Although these projects take more time than other types of student activities, I find that student retention of content and motivation are much higher the end results are memorable. I implement projects that move students from being passive to active to creative learners. They engage in real-world problem solving. It's a very hands-on, student-centered approach. If you've learned a subject well enough to teach it to others, you've truly mastered it. My students become educational content creators by making lesson plans, posters, paintings, drawings, banners, videos, and blog posts. They present what they've learned to each other, to our elementary classrooms, and to the public at a STEM showcase night. Student-created videos are posted on our YouTube channel and blog sites so others can learn from them. The authentic data used in our projects is collected by students in inquiry labs or through field studies, such as our exploration of soil contamination in the Tintic Mining District using a grant from the American Chemical Society. Students collected soil samples and tested them in the lab. They discovered the soils around mine dumps were high in lead and had extremely low pH. They also studied the history of the area. Other projects analyze online astronomy data using NASA geoscience and infrared sources. We work directly with NASA scientists and astronomers. My students create posters and science fair projects and present them at national conferences. We visualize data as images and 3D models, which allows us to notice patterns and details that aren't apparent from the raw numbers. It often takes formatting and computer coding to get the data to play nice, but the results are worth the effort. I am building a computer science program at Walden School from the ground up, which includes robotics and Python, Java, and now Scratch programming languages. My students are innovators because they take creative ideas to completion. This takes perseverance, time management, and planning skills. 
These projects are done in teams, requiring cooperation and communication. They use critical thinking skills to decide which ideas are best. They view their work with a critical eye, listen to peer feedback, then make revisions until it meets their original design specifications. My design students identify a need, decide on a potential solution, then carry it from concept through detailed design to 3D printed prototype to finished product. They develop a design brief, then present it to me and their peers as if they were asking for venture capital funds. As they work with others, solve problems, communicate proposals and innovate, they develop the skills to create their own businesses and gain success in a technological society. Thank you for this opportunity to share just some of what we're doing. To find out more, visit our blog sites at elementsunearthed.com and spacedoutclass.wordpress.com.